Alrighty, today our goal here is to see if by changing the state of matter in a substance, will the mass change? Will it conserve mass? Will mass be added to it? Will mass decrease? That is the question we are trying to solve today. So what we're going to do, a fairly simple experiment. I made a little homemade frying pan here. I've got a tea light and I've got braces wax. Now you could use a crayon or anything that really melts easily. I'm going to use braces wax because it melts fairly easily. So I'm going to zero out my balance and I'm going to get the mass of a piece of braces wax. And my mass is 0 0.5 grams, 0 0.5 grams. Now I want to simply melt this braces wax to see if that mass changes. Obviously when doing something like this you want to be very very careful. You want to tie your hair back if you have long hair. You want to keep the clothespin wet so it doesn't catch on fire. melted down to a liquid so we have changed from a solid to a liquid and we still have 0 0.5 grams in its liquid form. So let's talk about the particles for a minute. When I had this solid braces wax the particles are you can't see this but they are vibrating fairly close together. They don't have enough energy to move a whole lot but they are vibrating off of one another fairly close together. In the liquid phase, the particles have a little more energy to move past one another. That's why they can kind of flow. In the gas phase, which we're not going to try to evaporate our wax here, but in the gas phase, the particles have enough energy to actually take off and fill up the room as much as they can. Okay guys, so we gave our braces wax enough time to re-solidify. So our original measurement was 0 0.5 grams for the solid braces wax. Then as it melted, it retained that weight of 0 0.5 grams. And now it's solidified in, back into a solid and we still have 0 0.5 grams. All right, I have a little debate for you today. So I want you to kind of get an answer in your head as you observe whether you think shaving cream is a solid, a liquid, or a gas, or some combination of all of the above, okay? So we're gonna start just by making some pretty simple observations. I'm gonna spray some shaving cream into a Petri dish there. And I'd like you to make a quick observation just on what shaving cream actually looks like. So you, your goal here is to be thinking, is this a solid, is this a liquid, or is this a gas? And be prepared to back up your response. Also, put a penny on top of here. See what happens if I put some, some solid weight on top of the shaving cream. So as you can see, it is supporting the penny. To get an idea for some consistency, take a little bit of shaving cream rub it on the table so you can get an idea on texture and consistency. So after 24 hours your shaving cream is going to look something like this. So I let this sit out, sprayed this yesterday for 24 hours and here is the consistency of the shaving cream now. So our fourth state of matter is called plasma. So I'm sure you've heard quite a bit about solids, liquids, and gases and what's going on with those particles. Uh, plasma is a little bit different in that it is a gas, but it's a gas that has so much energy that electrons start to fly off of the atoms 
and it becomes a big, hot, charged gas. Um, it's actually the most common state of matter in the universe, uh, w which is something that a lot of people don't realize. Um, a nice, easy example for us to see plasma is this plasma ball. And essentially what's happening here is, by plugging it in, turning it on, I am pumping electrons into this ball of gas. And the gas that we use inside of a plasma ball, it's usually a combination of gases, uh, of, of noble gases, which are inert gases, which are the ones that don't have much reactivity uh, on period 18 of your periodic table. Um, and, and what's cool about it is, they make like a semi-vacuum in, inside of this ball, and it gets it's easy for us to see the electrons moving from our energy source through the gas. And the electrons, they like to flow. They like to flow through things that they like to flow through. So if I put something next to this ball that electrons like to flow through or that will conduct some electricity, they will follow that path. So my body will accept those electrons. And right now I have some more electrons kind of being pumped into my body. So you can see the difference, one finger, whole hand, couple fingers, couple hands. And it gives us that really neat effect. And what you're actually looking at right there is you can see that flow of electrons. So what's neat about a plasma ball is around this plasma ball, it develops an electromagnetic field, essentially, okay? Where there are some electrons that are trying to get out of here. And like I showed you before, they will go through, flow through my body as well. I could also take something like a fluorescent light and I could put it near the plasma ball. I want you to watch what happens. You could see where that field starts. Notice this bulb is not plugged in anywhere. It is, I'm simply putting it next to the plasma ball. Another interesting point, watch what happens if I do this. So, quick question for yourself. Where are the electrons going? What are they doing? And where do they rather go? Take a minute to think about that. All right, so next up, we wanna take a look at our plasma ball and see if I can pass those electrons off to good old Mr. Bauman here. Mr. Bauman decided he was gonna come down and make a nice cameo today for us. So Mr. Bauman, are you ready? Uh, is, this, is this safe? <laughs> I think so, you think this? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out, right? All right, all right. All right, so again, like we talked about before, I'm touching the plasma ball. Some of those electrons are going into my body. I wanna see if I can pass some of those on to Mr. Bauman. You ready, Mr. Bauman? Ooh. Did you feel that? I did. <laughs> One more time, ready? <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. I passed along the electrons, and Mr. Bauman feels that as a small little shock. 